Hey guys, welcome back to the Crafting Paradise Let's Play series. Let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and I finished our planes research. So that's all taken care of and done. We have finished that now. So we can go ahead and we can, like, let's go ahead and turn in the, the defined planes research note. Go ahead and I think we'll claim a reward bag. Go with the middle one here. So I already had a half a heart. So we can go ahead and combine those to make another full heart to recover the one that I lost before. Let's go ahead and add that into our life pool. We'll open our rewards bag. We got a chaparral. I don't even know what that is. That sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and put that in our large chest that is only for biome specific items or biome defining items. All right, so we have done defined planes, which is supposed to open up another quest elsewhere. I'm not sure where it actually opened up a quest though. Let's take a look at Dreams. Dreams does not have a new quest. Odds and Ends does not appear to have a new quest. Defining Paradise also does not seem to have a new one. Unless unless Extreme Hills wasn't here before. I, I missed one of these. De Desert, Swamp, Ocean. Unlocks one quest elsewhere. I must simply have missed it, maybe. As it didn't open anything where I could see. Well, maybe it was... No, they're all definitely connected to the Defined Forest. I'm not sure exactly what it opened, so let's go ahead and forget about that for now. Let's go ahead and let's take a crack at Blood Magic. I kind of want to start a Blood Magic today. So we need an altar. Uh, blood Altar. Which is fairly simple, just some stone, a furnace, two pieces of gold, and a diamond. So we can whip that up fairly quickly here. Oh, okay, we have exactly four pieces of stone. How convenient. All right, put that away. Let's take a look at our materials chest for one diamond and exactly two gold, which I don't think we actually finished producing. Oh, no, we did. I lied. I am a liar. Ignore me. Did, do we have stuff in that? Oh, we do. Okay. So we should be able to go like this, make a furnace, and like this to make a blood altar. And I really should start designing a place to build our home. So that's something I'm going to start doing fairly soon. Cool. Just looking at the NEI stuff. So alteration. We have completed alteration, which is fairly simple. Do we want rune of augmented capacity or efficiency runes? I think I want efficiency runes. We'll go with efficiency runes. What are you? You are a basic reward bag. Rainforest. Okay. So that was pretty basic. Uh, basic biome. Let's go ahead and we will go up here, put that away right away, sort it, put it in its place, and we'll now we'll take a look at the next quest in the list of blood magic, which is a weak blood orb. Life, death, life, death, life, death. Weak blood orb, blood runes, and speed runes. Infuse your diamond in the blood altar. Weak blood orb. I can't remember. I think I remember how to do this. Let's go ahead and grab another diamond. I think it's made out of a diamond. Um, shoot. We need to make a weak blood orb. Weak blood orb. Yep, I figured put a diamond in it and you have to put some blood in it. So, okay, so we'll grab a diamond from the other chest. Silly me. Diamond. And then we also will put, we'll put that in here. But we're also going to need to make a, I think it's called a sacrificial knife. Something like that. Oh, I was right. Sacrificial knife. Okay, so we need some glass, gold, iron. Do we have any glass? That becomes the number one question. I don't know if we do, so let's go ahead and cook some up real quick. Because I am pretty confident we have no glass. And as I say that, I am once again a big fat liar. Uh, this should be what we need. For that. There we go. Sacrificial knife. And I believe all we do is stand by the pool. And cut ourselves. And I don't remember how much blood we actually need to put in here. Shoot. Cut myself a lot. And I didn't have any. We didn't have any. Uh, enough food to regen our life. Uh, we, we didn't grow. I didn't grow too much of my. Seeds and saplings and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and make some bone meal real quick. I think that was a dumb idea what I just did, but Oh cool, they have that. Don't worry, you don't have to 
Oh no! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! At least we'll get some seeds out of it, I suppose. Alright, so we got eight more seeds, we can go ahead and plant these. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, perfect. Okay, so we'll get more crops growing. Because I don't want to keep eating all our steak when we eat our bread. I think I just totally screwed that up. I think I totally just screwed up that diamond. Alright, so we kind of cut ourselves and put some blood in this altar. And then we gotta let our health regen. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm not, I can't remember how much blood we need to put in there. Or how we can even check for that matter. Alright, so that's that. Uh, we're cooking some more glass. We could probably go ahead and make some grout. I wanna see what these efficiency runes are for though. Okay. I think they have something to do with going into the ground. I don't I don't remember fully. It's been a while since I've messed around with blood magic. So I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and see if we can make some make some grout. I already know how to make grout. So I think we have enough stuff inside all this. So we have twenty four sand, that's good. Can we find twenty four gravel? Yes we can. Can we find twenty four Play. Yes, we can. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Anyways, so we go ahead and put all this equal quantity into the crafting table, like that, and it works out pretty well. Let's go ahead and grab some more coal so we can fuel our furnaces for cooking. And we'll go ahead and start crop cooking some grass. I do need to get our pulverizer and stuff filled up. This furnace generator is really nice, but unfortunately you need a lot to get it. I keep hitting O instead of I. I preferably like to hit I. I know it keeps soaking up the blood. And that's how you make the first one. Weak blood orb. Weak. Cannot remember how much it is. Um, I don't know how much blood I have to put in here. Eventually it'll transform. I thought it was like 10 cuts. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe I wasn't. I'm not sure. I move so slow. I move so slow. I would not want to mess around with blood magic on like a UHS pack though. That would suck. That would just be mean to make like the one, like the one way you can provide power and energy and stuff is just blood magic. That would be so mean. Ah, there we go. We have completed our weak blood orb. Come here, you. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go ahead and turn in that quest manual detect. Um, speed rune or blood rune? I think I'll go with blood runes. I got a feeling that that's probably the better one to pick. Okay, so we get another basic reward bag. I think that's good because it gives us lavender fields. That sounds really, really lame. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. It sounds really lame. All right, let's go ahead and throw that in our chest here. Lavender fields. There we go. We, I think in the next episode we'll probably do some more biome exploration. So, uh, let's see. Weak blood orb. I think I just click with it, and I put blood into the system. I know that. I can't remember how we check our how much blood we have in our system. Blood magic. I know it's a scroll thing. We click and it tells us how much blood is in our system. Where is it? I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact item, but I know there is something. Not a reinforced slate. Uh, sigil of the blood lamp? No. Is it a sigil of such? No. Well, they've added a lot of blood magic stuff since the last time I, since I played around with blood magic. Can't remember what the item is for checking your blood levels blood magic um that's really a shame because i'm not gonna gonna know I, I know there's a, an item also you can make uh like a lava crystal or something like that i can't remember or a blood crystal blood crystal maybe that's something to do with played a honey crystal complex an unbound crystal of infinite possibilities. Oh, maybe lava crystal? No. 
No, it's not a lava crystal. Ah, for the life of me, can't remember here. A complex spell crystal. Crystal of an unimaginable power. Shift click. Recipe is an unbound crystal. Weak blood shard, weak blood shard, diamond and gold ingot. Um, I'm, I'll probably do a little bit of research after. I probably should have done my research ahead of time, so I apologize. Uh, uh, I apologize for that, guys. I probably should have had this ready to go. A little more prepped, uh, a little more prepped and ready. So that's my fault, and I apologize for that. But we have done some quests, so that's good. Because I don't think this can be put in for powering. There is an object, though, that ties with your blood network that allows you to... There it is. I thought it was called a lava crystal. This is a lava crystal. This is the this is the item that you make. Store life or store life to smelt stuff in the furnace. So basically it takes the life force out of your network and it provides a power source. It's actually a very nice opening source if you don't want to like waste power and stuff, you can just simply cut yourself. <laughs> that sounds horrible. You just cut yourself. Um, but if they had uh, Ars Magica in here as well. You could just like use a heal spell on yourself. Cut, 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 heal, heal, heal. Cut, 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 heal, heal, heal. That works out really, really well. Um, ah, I keep, like, for some reason, I keep thinking that it's a sigil that we use for blood magic that tells us how much we have. Maybe it's a divination sigil. Peer into the soul to get the current essence. Ah, so I think I remembered. It is a, it definitely, this is it. It's a divination sigil. So we need some glass and a blank slate. So a blank slate is just a piece of stone. Fairly simple stuff. Let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone and cook up that cobblestone. We'll take one piece of cobble and then put some blood into our altar with our sacrificial knife. And then we can go from there. I believe the next quest in our chain... Let's just get this better organized here. Is a... That next level blood orb. Which... Uh, I'm not, I think it's a little step up in materials, don't quote me. Uh, yeah, it's an emerald, so that's not, that's not actually too bad. Let's go ahead and grab one of these pieces of stone and go over to our altar and start slicing dicing to go ahead and get ourselves some, get us a bunch of blood in there. That should be enough blood, I think, for the, for the conversion for stone. I think you can kill yourself with this, but I'm not brave enough to try it just now, so I apologize. I... Mining world. No, that one was already there. The portal to the deep dark is something I'd really like to try. So we got our blank slate. Let's go ahead and go to our crafting bench. Now this thing takes a a weak blood orb, but I'm pretty sure it does not consume the blood orb on creation. Like that. It doesn't actually consume it. I was pretty sure. So this tells us we have 1800 LB in our system. This says this that our capacity. Ultra screen capacity is that much and it tells us how much we have in our current our current essence in there the altar has 800 life life blood life points uh we have 1800 in our system if we go over here and go click click and we check ours we have 2200 click it again 2400 so that's pretty cool i would like to get some obsidian maybe i think that'll probably have to wait till the next episode however we probably could start messing around with making a simple cobblestone generator but I would like to chop down some more wood because we definitely need some wood I don't know how much we have if any at all we have 10 pieces here let's put some of this stuff away only 10 wood I have two uh, two books too I have 25 rubber wood but I don't know if that works for barrels I'm hoping that the better barrel mod is in here Yes, yes, Jabba is definitely in here. Good stuff. I don't know if the rubber wood works. But I guess we could find out pretty quickly and simply. Go ahead and make chest. Fairly easy. One, two, three for that. To make a bunch of slabs. Like so. Like so. And then like so. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's unfortunate. But the wood can supply us. Let's take these out. Oh, actually, let's see. I want to make some of those. Uh, chop this quick. And we can go like this to make it into a crafting station. And then this to make it a legless crafting station. Throw that down. Because this is nice. Because this one remembers patterns for you. So I can go like this and like that. And then I can exit out of it. Which makes it really convenient. 
Let's go ahead and chop some of these trees down. Uh, actually, we'll chop them all down because I think we have all the string we could need for now. And by the time we'll need string again, I'm pretty sure we'll have a uh, better means of making string or cotton. Or co string, cotton, or, or wool. Let's go ahead and chop this wood down and get some for a barrel. I want to go ahead and get a uh, cobble generator before the end of today's episode, which we have about four minutes. So that should be enough time for us to make our first cobblestone generator as cobble will be good to have. The one problem I have with the cobble generator, and it's not so much the cobble generator itself is so much the barrels that you store the cobble in, is linking it up to other barrels is a pain in the ass. Because they have to have the exact same amounts and the exact same upgrades and the exact same everything. It's a cool feature, don't get me wrong, but it's they make you work for it, which also I, I, I like that more that they make you have to. But I think I think they could do a better job at making you have to work for it, but not making it such an asinine way about it. Uh, let's go ahead and keep putting blood into our system because we want to max this out, and I think it can hold up to 10,000. So we want to get that going because as soon as we start using it for power, it will get pretty costly. So... We want to make sure that's as pumped up as we can get it. Yeah, we want to make sure it's as pumped up as we can get it. Let's go ahead and keep sacrificing blood. Okay, so our sugar cane is starting to grow. That's good. Let's go ahead and put our quest book away because we probably won't be using that anytime soon. Let's go put another piece of the sugar cane there. We were working on making our cobblestone generator, so we'll need to... Actually, this is going to be kind of lame. I'll show you guys one trick how to do this. So you want to take a crucible, we're going to place this crucible down under a torch, and that should give it a 0.1 MB speed. Let's go ahead and get some cobblestone, start melting it down into lava, 1, 2, 3, 4, should be enough. Okay, ratios do keep. That, the torch actually cook, the heats the crucible up enough for it will start cooking. Eventually we'll want to get a stronger liquid. Lava is actually only 0.2 under the crucible. Which is not much of an upgrade in seeing we don't have lava. It's a very small upgrade, but we'd like to get it under there is blazing pyromethium, because that's at 0.7. So it cooks uh, cooks lava very quickly. And it's a great source of infinite lava for now for free. You just insert cobble and it's like, oh here, have tons of lava for free. It's a really, really nice feature. That is awesome. I will take that. And that's for sure so yeah that's how we make some good amount of lava that's gonna cook us on um, some lava and we'll use a bucket on it and grab the lava inside pretty simple stuff and the water bucket i believe we already have water wait we only have one water bucket don't we you know what? i can grab the other water it'll be okay so that's the water we'll have water lava and then we need some redstone stuff which we will make from extra utilities which is called transfer pipe. We'll need some stone, which I believe we cooked up more, as we did. Come out of there, you. Like such. Put some of this stuff away, because we are just getting way too much stuff and junk. Um, let's get rid of that. And then we'll put away whatever else we can actually put away at stacks that's currently in there. An enemy system is probably going to be a very uh, close second to what we're doing now because not having an enemy system is truly frustrating um hmm, 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 hmm. okay so we got that we got that we got the food let's go ahead and put some more stuff into our system okay we need some redstone quickly that i have virtually none of apparently redstone did i not was i not sifting the right stuff could have swore redstone came out of this unless i moved it Redstone. Smelt, mace rate, scrap box. Ooh, scrap box thing. Sawmill, bee production. Yeah, 13% chance. Where's my redstone? Did I use it all? Did I move it? Oh, you redstone. Why you do that to me, bro? Need one piece of redstone. Let's quickly go over to here. Look up transfer node. Like so. Take some of these transfer pipes. Fairly simple stuff. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, we put that other stuff away, didn't we? Let's grab one of these and one of those for a quick barrel. I'll show you guys how to make the barrel. Pretty simple stuff. Oh, there we go. Better job of barrel. And now we need to make a transfer node item, which means that we'll need another chest. Two pieces of stone. We have the stone. 
We have the wood to do the chest. And we'll need some more redstone. So let's go ahead and grab uh, just a half, a half of what we had in there for redstone. Quickly make a redstone block. Make another chest. Like so. And like that. And we should be able to just go like this. Like this. And then there we go. There's our transfer node. Um, cobblestone. Cobblestone. Let's take a piece of cobblestone. Like that. Let's put it up there. Go over here. Where we're going to make our cobblestone generator. Pretty simple stuff. We're going to break that middle block out. We're going to break that block out. Break this block out. Put a node like that. Put that like that. And then as soon as our lava is done, it sh we'll put a bucket of lava there and a bucket of water there. And this actually works as a cobblestone generator. You, you think it wouldn't make any sense, but it, it, it auto breaks slash pulls up the cobblestone infinitely, but, but never actually breaks the block that's there. So it, it's kind of neat. I think it's a little cheeky, but it works really well. And I mean, if it's in the pack, you can't fight it, right? It's there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a bucket where I'm going to run down and get some water quick for this. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll have the lava by the time that finishes and then we're good to go. But that is the end of the episode, guys. So thank you for being and watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the support. As always, if you want to help support the channel grow, please like and subscribe. And until next time, you guys take her easy. Bye, guys.